Now we get set for our main event, and this is a mouth-watering rematch. Juan Francisco Estrada making his pro debut back in 2008, the same year that Carlos Cuadras made his debut. Hola, hola. Hola. Right now, Estrada, Gallo Estrada is looking a little bit. Oh, nice. Oh, and they put him down. An uppercut from Quadras sends Estrada down. Just when I was about to say Estrada is landing the more crisp combinations and the speed and the power with the poise, he gets dropped by a big left hook. And I believe it was a double left hook. A stunning turn of events here in the third round as Quadras floors Estrada. And he caught him again with a left hand. And he's backed him up against the ropes. It's a wide left hook. I was telling he was having success with that punch in the first fight, doubling the left hooks. In their first fight, Estrada put Quadras down. And in the second fight, Quadras has now put Estrada down. And as when we get into the second half of this fight, we're going to see more violence from both fighters. Right now, we're seeing the aggression of Estrada coming forward. But Quadras with a sweeping left hook right there. Yeah, right when you think Quadras may be starting to fade a little bit, he answers. And that body shot affected him. That was a clean left uppercut. Right on the money by Estrada. They're both fighting as if there are no judges, and the only way to win is by KO. And when both fighters get tired, it's technique that's going to end up hurting the other fighter. Who's going to punch more cleanly with technique? Just like that. Estrada backing up, landing the left hook, right uppercut. And this is what you expect and hope for when you get two Mexicans fighting at an elite level for a world title in Mexico. Oh, nice left hook there from Estrada as he was moving backwards. And a big uppercut. Estrada getting the better of these exchanges now. Oh, and a right hand for Estrada. El Gallo stepping it up. Another one. Quadra seemingly unfazed. The brilliant counter punching that we're no, used to seeing with Estrada's going out the window, it's turning into a war. You know it's a great fight when the only people there are the workers and the essential workers and they're clapping and enjoying this war. Quadras took some big shots right there, uppercuts and left hands of Estrada. So you're saying Estrada should continue to go to the body. What does Quadras need to do? Quadras needs to keep fighting those spurts and fighting off the, the aggression of the normally counter-punching Estrada. But you can see that Quadras is still hurting from that body shot. And there is a cut over the left eye. Oh, and that's a left hook there for Quadras, a cut over the left eye of Estrada. And that will cause him some problems with his vision. Good round here for Quadras. Because Quadras is not standing still. He's punching and moving laterally. Not giving Estrada a chance to come back. Oh, down goes Quadras! Down goes Quadras! Both men have been down. Can Estrada knock Carlos Cuadras out? No one has been able to do it. 2.42 to go here in round 11. And Gallo Estrada not forgetting about the body. Oh, and a big left again. Can Cuadras dig deep one more time? He's on the outs. Cuadras is struggling. He's hurt. It's those body shots that finally took effect. Caught him again. Estrada digging deep, but Quadra showing the heart of a champion, refusing to go, but he's down for a second time. Face first in the K. 
canvas. He's stumbling up. Oh boy, he does not look good. He does not look good. Let's see, can Estrada close it out and seal perhaps the rematch he searched for against Chuck Latito. Big left hand for Quadras. Estrada pouring on the pressure. Quadras fighting back. What an incredible encounter we're witnessing. Quadras has been down twice. Estrada down once. One of the best fights we've seen in 2020. Quadras is still throwing bombs, people. Good sneaky uppercut by Estrada, who's weathered the storm. Was that the last stand for Quadras? Under a minute to go here in the 11th. Oh, and he's getting, and that'll do it! Juan Francisco Estrada, the rooster, has stopped Carlos Cuadras, and look what it means to him in his corner. I am lost for words, Todd. This was an unbelievable war of attrition between two Mexican greats. Incredible stuff. And after that second knockdown, I thought Quadras was done. The referee looked at him a long time, and when he let him fight again, I thought he might get really hurt. But instead, he landed some shots of his own, gave it his best shot. But in the end, Juan Francisco Estrada just too tough tonight. I'm humbled by the courage and, and, and just the, the bravery of both these fighters and for Quadras to go out on his shield like that. The referee gave him a chance to keep fighting, kept an eye, but he, he knew not to stop the fight unless he was really that hurt and the fight was beaten out of Quadras.